National Dog Day. Today is National Dog Day. Today's that day we're going to appreciate all our, you know, man's best friend, you know, our, our buddies, the doggos, and those loving, faithful canines, guys. Um, I obviously have, you know, the Rem Dog. I've, you guys have seen him before. Um, I hope you guys have, you know, dogs. I mean, love to hear about some of your dogs, some of their names, you know, how you found your dogs, how you got your dogs. Love to hear all that kinds of stuff, guys. You know, you guys, I mean, there's always the big question. Everyone always has, are you a dog person or a cat person? You guys are a dog person, man. Give me a big thumbs up. I am personally a pretty much an everything person. I love animals. Got the dog, got the cat, got the, the coat, got the the guinea pig. Aiden is trying to win a weekend, I think, with uh, his uh, third grade teacher's hamster. So, which happens to be the same name as our uh, cats. They're both named Snowball. So, I'm not sure how that would be a weekend of me saying something about Snowball and trying to figure out which one it is. But this is about the dogs today, guys. Dogs. I mean, love to hear about your dogs, guys. As I said, love to hear what kind of dogs you have. Still trying to figure out what Remy is. I still think he is. Not, I don't know if it's fully, but I'm going to do one of these tests. I'm going to do one of these DNA testing because I want to know. I'm pretty sure he's a good amount, but I could be wrong. Rhodesian and Ridgeback because he has very much characteristics, the facial features, the body type, um, this a little bit of the spirit and all that kind of stuff. He's not as uh, protective, I could say, I don't think. I, I don't think he's that kind of a thing, but, uh, oh, a bunch of Tokyo Tricky Vultures, sorry. Um, but he definitely is, I can see very much Rhodesian Ridge back in him. But I'd love to know how much he is. I'd love to know what other things he is. Um, let me know, guys, as I said. But today, as I said, today is that day. Today is the day we're going to celebrate those dogs and how great they are. Um, also, the other day I was driving around with Aiden and we were driven by, by uh, an airfield. <clears throat> There's a fence they had up. Uh, and on top of the fence, there was barbed wire. And Aiden asked me, he's like, what's all this stuff on top of the fence? Is that like uh, electrocution? Like people electrocute people? And I said, no, it's not, not that fancy. And it's just, it's barbed wire. And he's like, well, what's that? So I explained to him, you know, it's it's razor wire pretty much. It's a bunch of wire that's got razors all over it. It's sharp. You try to climb over, you're going to slice your hands up. You're going to slice your face up, your whole body and stuff like that. He then had the question of, well, would it stop a zombie? And I had to laugh because Aiden comes up with these things, man. I was like, Aiden, I don't think barbed wire would <laughs> stop a zombie because they really don't think they're going to feel too much of the barbed wire cutting them. They, they might, but it's not like when a human gets cut by barbed wire and they're like, oh my God, ow, ow. I said, they're pretty much going to just, uh, uh, and just keep going through it, Aiden. I said, barbed wire is not going to stop a zombie. So then we get on with the conversation of what does stop a zombie? And there are many theories, guys, and I'd love to hear some of your theories on what stops stop zombies. I mean, the people who have those, uh, who are the, I can't think of the show now, uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead fans, love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think stops zombies? I mean, I can say the old school zombies of what I remember from when I was a boy, the only way you stopped a zombie was to chop its head off, which is what I told you. So the only way I know Aiden is to chop its head off. You, you know, so its head off, you blow its head off, you do whatever, you just detach its head from its body. It's the only way to kill a zombie. But I know there's been so many mutations of zombies and zombies and different things. And, and I, know, I know there's the Walking Dead where zombies are actually smart, I believe. They actually have a brain. They're not going, brains, looking for brains. They actually have a brain and they can make... I guess tactical things and you know figure out how to attack the humans and stuff like that whereas normally zombies that I remember as I was saying just are mindless things that are attacking things um love to hear <coughs> from you guys what kind of things you think stop zombies if you guys are zombie fanatics love to hear that I mean know people who are big zombie fanatics they love the whole culture they do zombie walks and stuff like that and I know obviously having a little girl there is that show or a movie I should say zombies which is on Disney Channel, which I've watched probably a good hundreds, hundreds and thirty, yeah, hundreds of times at this point, because they even love zombies, and that's a whole different, another spin on zombies. Zombies are creatures; they're at the normal, you know, thing. But somehow, someone figured out technology to put around zombies' wrists to not make them that way, but instead just make them normal people. But obviously, they are uh, green and you know, rotting, and uh, I don't know if they. I don't think in the, in the Disney stuff they eat brains unless they're not have another bracelet on. But they're also part of the culture, kind of. Like, they have their own little town and stuff like that. But that's, you know, a whole different thing, guys. But just, I'm saying, there are so many different things that have, zombies have evolved to at this point. It's just, it's crazy. Like, as I said, I remember the mindless ones, and now I know they're thinking. They're, obviously, Disney Channel singing and dancing and going to high school with normal 
normal kids and stuff like that, and falling in love and stuff like that. And I honestly can say, as I watched it hundreds of times with, with Abe, which at this point, it's definitely not a bad movie. Um, it's definitely very cute, and I definitely love the one song me and her <coughs> um, sing together, which is Someday. I love singing that along with her. It's just cute, you know, daddy-daughter kind of moment. Um, but yeah, that was Aiden's question. We were trying to climb over <coughs> bar wire, could a zombie do it? And I said, probably. And he said, can zombies climb? That was the other thing he said, can zombies climb? And I said, I think zombies can climb. I think I think they have at least that cognitive, you know, to be able to climb things. I don't think they're just going to be walking <laughs> into things just bumping off a fence. I don't think that's how it happens. But maybe I'm wrong, once again. Um, I know Aiden was saying he thinks something's going to be coming up on Fortnite soon, so I'll definitely let you guys know about that. Because, uh, you know him, and he loves his Fortnite and all his cool things when they bring up things like the, the Travis Scott concert or them bringing Aquaman into uh, Fortnite. Or back, you know, this was back when uh, Endgame was. They brought the Avengers all into uh, Fortnite, which was, you know, a cool thing. You, know, you could play Captain America, you could play Thor, you could play all those people. He said he said thinks there's something else coming up. So I definitely will let you guys know when he does and let you know his reaction. I might even let him do a reaction of his own. I might, you know, have him film, film him checking out what the new update is for the Fortnite. Um, but I'm on my way to wait, 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 wait to work, guys. So I hope you guys will have super, super days. And as I said, guys, please, man, comment down below. Let me know about zombies. Let me know about your dogs. I love to hear about dogs. I love animals so much. I really do. And I, I mean, I've had some great dogs in my life. I've had, you know, Ebony, who was, uh, well, technically my first dog. So before that, there was Sherry. She was a she was a um, little poodle. That was my mom's dog. And I remember growing up with her. But yeah, there was, I love, I have so many dogs that went through my life. And they've all had such great impacts on my life. And I love them all love to hear about your dogs whether it be past or present love to know what you guys have and also as i always said guys i think i've mentioned before if any of you guys see pictures of remy and you guys know what he is or what he possibly might be please let me know guys as i said i think he's a radiation ridgeback but i'm gonna do that dna test i really want to i'm not sure if the fellow co-parent will agree with it but i want to do it because i love to know what he is he just he's such an enigma to me he really is but i hope you guys have super super days and i will talk to you guys all later Good evening, everybody. Well, I hope you guys had super um, Rainbow Bridge Remembrance Days today. Hope you guys you know, had some fond memories of all our fuzzy little babies. I remember how much unconditional love they've brought into our lives. Um, so today, I had to take a little run to uh, our local Walmart because I had to get something for work. And outside, they had music playing. And I heard a song that I probably haven't heard in like 15, probably 20 years. And it was Savage Gardens, I Want You. Or if you, you guys might know by the, the, the known as the Chicka Cherry Cola song. I haven't heard that song in so long and it, it definitely put a smile on my face. I was a huge Savage Garden fan, guys, back in the day. And if you guys were the same way, please guys give me a big thumbs up. I used to love me some Savage Garden. Um, and it definitely it put a big smile on my face and it definitely set a tone for the rest of the day. It definitely was a good day, it made me happy. Um, Def, I mean, love them. I mean, if you guys love them as much as I did, please, guys, comment down below. Let me know. I you know, truly, madly, deeply, all those songs, man. I used to, I used to love Savage Garden so much, man. Very underrated band, in my opinion. Uh, also, I happen to find out, I don't know if anybody else has found out about this yet, it's supposed to, I think, start sometime in September. Lucky Charms is releasing, for a limited time, a bag, I think it's six-ounce bags, of marshmallows not not like marshmallow mar like the actual marshmallows you get in this cereal they're releasing six ounce bags of them to stores so you can just eat the lucky charms marshmallows without having to pick through the cereal that is an awesome awesome thing especially for Ava Jean because she loves those marshmallows so I'm going to see if I can get as many of those bags as I can and stockpile them so she can have marshmallows whenever she wants I just think that's such a cool idea um, I know they're trying to, you know, change their way, their whole thing. I know they're doing the whole Lucky Charms Lost It's Magic kind of dealie. Um, but I thought this was so awesome, guys. If you guys have seen it yet or if you guys heard about it yet, please, guys, let me know. That is, I, If you guys have seen the bags yet, let me know. They said September is supposed to start. I think it's a really cool idea, as I said. So hopefully that will be come as is. Um, but I'm almost home, guys. I got to figure out what I'm going to get for dinner. And I'm not thankfully getting to see my, get to see my kids because they're all awake right now. But as I said, guys, I hope you had super, super days today. 
And I guys hope you guys have super nights. And I will probably see you guys all tomorrow. Guys, I am almost home. So, hope as I say, guys, hope you guys have super, super day. day. And hope you guys have super, super nights tonight. And as always, guys, if you like the content, you like what we're talking about, please, guys, subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe. Love to get the little conversations going on my on the uh, the boards. 